Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Godly. A little bit of free for all for you guys. I am not a big free for all fan at all. Um, and I haven't played it probably in eight to ten months, but I took it upon myself to play. I'm running the Iron Sight Ballista, which for those of y'all who have followed me for a while, you know that that's my absolute favorite gun in Black Ops 2. Um, also, this last week, I told you that I went back to Black Ops 2 permanently. Ghost was something that I can no longer stomach. I'm just over it, and I'm bored. So, like I said, free-for-all on Carrier running the Iron Sight Ballista. So, this last week, I actually prestiged. Now, <laughs> I don't know who actually prestiges to, like, what is it, two years after a game has been released. But I wanted to unlock some of my higher score streaks, and I had no tokens left. So, in order to unlock my dogs and my swarm, I needed to prestige. So, yeah, it's been a fun trip because I kind of, I'm one of those people that definitely just, I think that prestiging is overrated. Like, I don't know, I did it in Call of Duty 4, but ever since then, it's just... Nah, you know, it's just kind of overrated to me. So anyways, I apologize that some of my shots are just shit, but it gets better. Trust me. All right, guys. Occasionally, I like to bring y'all in real life stories, just things that have either happened in my past or things that are, you know, currently going on. Just kind of, you know, some info about me. So a couple of years back, I was in college full time in Dallas. Now, I live... I say about 75 miles from Dallas. It's about a good hour drive, a good hard hour drive. And anyways, I was going to college down there full time and I was driving back and forth. Well, at that time, you know, gas, well, even now gas is absolutely ridiculous. But um, I had found somebody to carpool with me, you know, someone that lived in my, you know, in my visit, in my vicinity and who, you know, was interested in carpool and someone who went to school with me. So she and I had started, you know, driving back and forth with each other. Anyway, so one morning we um, left. We always had to leave about 5 o'clock in the morning to make it there. Our class started at 7. We went from 7 to noon, Monday through Friday. And so, anyways, we had left, um, you know, about 4.30 or 5 o'clock is what the time, you know, usual time that we left. We left a little bit earlier. Traffic wasn't, you know, that bad or whatever. So we stopped off at McDonald's. And it was one of those, like, McDonald's that's kind of in, you know, in with the store kind of thing. And so we had actually went and bought a lottery ticket. Well, I, I paid for the lottery tickets. And then after that, you know, we went to McDonald's and just got a little, you know, breakfast sandwich. So we're sitting there eating. And like I said, I had bought the tickets and she scratched one and I scratched one. Well, on hers, she ended up winning 30000 Thirty thousand dollars, yes. So like we're all just like freaking out. We have no clue like what you know what to do. I mean, we're just like beyond ourselves. You can imagine scratching a lottery ticket, winning thirty thousand. Like, are you serious? So then we're like, okay, looking around because we're not in the best part of Dallas, <laughs> and so we're all just sitting there, kind of looking around, like, okay, let's grab our shit and let's get out of here. So we did. And we ended up, you know, leaving, and I end up calling my mom. It's like four forty-five in the morning. I am free out like just screaming the people are thinking I'm nuts whatever so anyways I ended up um, even though I bought the ticket I ended up sharing it with her because I thought that, that I don't know I thought that, that was the thing to do like the right thing to do I heard so many people give me shit and I'm just I'm definitely one of those people that I don't think that money solves all money makes you happy as hell but I don't think that it can you know Money doesn't buy everything. It can't buy you friendship, relationships, you know, shit like that. It just, it doesn't, you know, buy everything. So anyways, um, I ended up, we ended up 30000 um, after taxes, which is ridiculous. It came to 22500 and then we split it right down the middle. Well, she ended up, you know, um, getting some school things, doing this, that, and the other. And then it's crazy how things, you know, kind of work out. But my mom um, was actually diagnosed with cancer. And so she needed money, you know, um, some of her, the insurance wouldn't pay for certain things. And so I ended up just taking all the money that I had, my part, and applying it towards, you know, the things that she needed, her bills, you know, um, medical bills, 
uh, everything, you know. So I'm hoping at one point I think that everything comes back full circle, you know, karma. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but I'm hoping that it does come back, you know, full circle. May not be financially, but it is what it is. So anyways, um, last night, um, the second part of the story is last night I went to the store. And <laughs> for those of y'all who watched my stream, I had been drinking. So I went to the store and um, I got a 12-pack of Bud Light and... Don't judge me. I'm redneck. That's all we drink is beer. And I got a 12-pack of Bud Light, and I got a couple of lottery tickets. Well, I came home, and, you know, I drank a few beers, whatever. <laughs> and then I go out on the porch, and I'm smoking. And I usually don't smoke, but when I drink, I do smoke. I quit smoking about five years ago, but whatever. I smoke socially now. And anyways, I scratched it, and, like, you have to match your numbers with their numbers. And so I did, and it was five bucks. And I'm like, yeah, I'm one of those people that just, like, I'm over the moon, <laughs> you know, for $5. Anyway, so I keep on scratching, and, like, the next number match, and it said $10,000. And I'm like, what? Come again? Like, no. No! Like, there's no way that somebody could win the lottery twice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> Okay, and I know ten thousand dollars is the you know the end all. It's not going to pay my home off, and it's not going to do this, that, or the other. But ten thousand dollars to me is a lot of fucking money. Like, let's be honest. So, anyways, I'm like, all right. So I sat outside for about ten or fifteen minutes, just like freaking out. And I'm like, no way, no way. You're freaking kidding me. Like, what the hell? And I'm just like completely freaking out. My neighbors think I'm just nuts. I live in a, you know, in a subdivision where, you know, all the people are kind of older and stuff. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, seriously? Anyways, after a few beers, upon further investigation, no. It was actually number 23 and I needed number 25. So I didn't win the lottery. Yeah, so, but it was crazy because those, t you know, those 10 or 15 minutes when I thought that I did, I was on cloud nine. And I love it how people say that money don't do shit. Well, it made me so happy for those 10 minutes. You know, I didn't have a care in the world. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that with y'all. It was absolutely hilarious. I was just, you know, I was ecstatic. I knew that I had won $10,000 and was just freaking out. So anyways, I just wanted to share with y'all. That's what I got for you guys. So next time, peace out.